first I grabbed like the the bigger stuff and then I just added on the little smaller stuff. A few teachers were interested in reading this book called Building Thinking Classrooms and it has to do with ways to present the instruction to kids. So they use some vertical surfaces, they create tasks that encourage a lot more engagement and collaboration so the kids kind of have to work together. Students are proposing solutions to things that they might have in the past been afraid to say, so they're able to grapple with problems that are much bigger. Much of what we do in mathematics is oversimplify to a few kind of characteristic problem types and then train students with a recipe or a solution only to that problem. Then the minute kids um, encounter math problems in the real world or more challenging math problems, they don't know what to do. So your job, like always, get your work onto the board after having those thoughts and conversations with your group, okay? That's step one. It's part of the Building Thinking Classrooms that some teachers have started reading and looking into for a book club. It's way more problem solving based. Um, it's allowing for real life situations to be incorporated in instead of just learning formulas as like a simple strategy. So I think it's applying more to their real life. I like writing my answers down and all that, like the ways that I do it. It's fun and it lets me have other ideas. It's giving the kids a chance to take risks. So it's optional right now, but it's kind of been fun to pilot it to see if it's something we should take further. I love it. I think it gets the kids out of their seats. Um, they're able to communicate. Like, they all have to own the problem. Every day they're with a new group, so they're never with the same partner. They have to get up, they have to speak, and they never know who, what, whose number or sometimes name might be called that has to speak for the group. So it's definitely changed um, how the math class is actually run. I think it allows us to work with groups. It really helps the group work together. Eight mini squishmallows, this this Woodstock thing for $10, and then this baby doll for um, $5. I kind of just kept it in my head and tried to remember. 